Hi, my name is Janice and I'm a science teacher here in Clearwater, Florida. And today I'm going to talk to you about how you calculate molarity when you're given a certain amount of a chemical. And that's going to require using atomic weight. So, molarity, remember, is a measure of moles over liters. So if we're, if we're working with a certain amount of a chemical, we're going to have to take whatever that chemical is being measured in, let's say grams, and convert that to moles before we can calculate molarity. So let's say, for in instance, that we have 8.8 .8 grams of table salt. Now, table salt is made of sodium, and it's made of chlorine. So we're going to have to figure out how much one mole of sodium chloride weighs in order to figure out molarity. And for that, we have to go to the periodic table. So on the periodic table, each element is listed in a box. And that box is going to have something called the atomic number. So the atomic number of sodium is 23. We're going to round it up to, 20, to uh, whole numbers. And the atomic weight of chlorine is uh, 35.5. So one atom, uh, or excuse me, one mole of molarity, uh, excuse me, one mole of salt is going to weigh 23 grams, whereas one mole of chlorine is going to weigh 35.5 grams. So we're going to add that together, and that's going to give us 58.5 grams. So now we know how much one mole of salt weighs. Next, we're going to set up something that's called a conversion problem. Some teachers call it dimensional analysis. Some teachers call it the factor label method. But anyway, it's going to be a way that we set up a ser uh, an equation where we're going to cancel out units. Now, when we do a problem like that, we always start with what we're given. So we're given 8.8 .8 .8 grams of salt. So I'm going to set that up there first. Then I'm going to draw a nice long line. And I'm going to draw a line down this way. Now I need to come up with what we call a conversion factor. So remember, I just figured out that one mole of salt weighs 58.5 grams. And I'm going to use this as my conversion. But when I set up these problems, I want to be able to cancel out units. So if I have grams of salt on the top up here, I'm going to need to have grams of salt on the bottom down there. Okay? So I'm going to say 58.5 grams and put that on the bottom. And that equals one mole of salt. So remember that I told you that we had to convert to moles before we can go to liters. Now let's say that I am putting this much salt into one liter of solution. So I'm going to say that I'll have one liter for every one mole. So I'm going to put moles of salt on the bottom down here. And I'm going to put uh, liters up on the top here. Now, the number of liters is going to depend on what it tells you in the problem. It might tell you that you're dealing with 500 milliliters, which would be half a liter, or that you've got two liters. Whatever number of liters they give you in the problem is what you would put in that box. All right, now I'm going to check myself to make sure that my units cancel, and all I'm left with is my liters over here. So let's see. Okay, those cancel, those cancel. Okay, now I can do my math. So I'm going to take 8.8, .8 and I'm going to divide it by 58.5. And that's going to give me 0 0.15 moles per liter. And that is going to equal my molarity of my salt solution. And that is how you calculate molarity when you're given a certain amount of chemical.